Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to part two of our Stitch Upon a Time um, Ursula Leggings Sew Along. Today, so yesterday we made our bottoms, whether you did leggings or shorts. Um, I did the shorts. So yesterday we did that. Today we are going to be putting our skirt together, the tulip skirt. And then tomorrow we will be putting all the components together, making our waistband and finishing our leggings. Yay. Um, so if you're not doing the skirt portion, you can either take a break and, you know, relax, enjoy your day. Or um, if you are doing, if you're not doing the skirt portion, but you are doing like some of the different, like the um, cuff options, sorry. If you're doing some of the different cuff options, uh, you can do that today too. It'll probably take about the same amount of time. Um, if you're doing the diamond cutouts, definitely check out the um, Isla sew along that we did um, where we did the heart cutout in the back. That'll give you some tips and tricks on how to do some cutouts. And if you are doing um, the leg warmers or anything like that, um, pretty simple. If you have any questions, though, let me know. Okay. So um, what we need for today is we need you should have a back skirt piece that was cut on the fold. And then you should have two mirror image front skirt pieces. So we need those today. And then let me pull up. I want to make sure I'm giving correct instructions and not my instructions. Sometimes they're different. <laughs> All right. So what we need to do Oh, let's add this first so that you can actually see what I'm doing. Okay, so we're going to take the back piece of our skirt. And we are going to put it right sides up so that the waist is at the top and our bottom is at the bottom. And what we need to do now is we need to take our front tulip pieces. And we need to line them up. So right sides together. We're going to make sure the two skirts are lined up. And this, I believe, should go here. Let me just make sure. Okay. With right, with right sides Another pin both front skirt pieces to the post skirt back along the long side edges. Okay, so first what we need to do is just do these. So we're going to put the long sides together and we're not going to sew yet. We're just gonna pin them up. So So make sure those raw edges are all lined up there. And then do the same thing to the opposite side, making sure that your the part that slants down is in your is at, at the top. Sorry, if I make faces, I'm <laughs> thinking things through. And sometimes I'm like, hmm, I don't think that's going to work. Not necessarily about the instructions, but more like my head. I'm a visual person, so sometimes I have to wrap my head around things. And I'm like, hmm, no, that's not quite right. All right. Sew together from the bottom edge up about three inches on both sides. Hmm. I know why, because it wants you to sew and attach the bottom part of the skirt, and then you open it up and hem it so that you have a nice hem all the way around. My problem with that is it's asking me to make a mistake. <laughs> I know that probably sounds ridiculous, but it's very true. Okay, so let's see. Hmm. 
All right, so let's just do it. Let's be good and actually follow instructions. Because in my head, I'm trying to, I'm like, okay, how can I change this? All right, so what we need to do is here we've got, let's one, two. Okay, so we're gonna put the raw edges together of the long sides of the sides of our skirt. And we're just going to sew up about three inches. Using, if you're using a regular machine, you wanna make sure to use a stretch stitch, triple stretch, zigzag, um, lightning stitch, any of those work great. And then it is a half inch seam allowance. Probably would have been good for me to mark it, but let's see how close I am. Okay, one, two, three. I did four inches. That's all right. All right, so same with the other side. Make sure those raw edges are lined up, and we just want to go up three inches using a half inch seam allowance. Yeah, I definitely did more than three inches that time. That's okay. Hopefully. Yeah, that'll be fine. Let's see. One, two, three. Hey, at least I'm consistent. Okay, we're both four inches. All right, now what we need to do is we need to fold over. So it wants us to use a ruler to measure and draw a line one and a half inches from the bottom edge on the wrong side. Fold the bottom up to meet the line. So yeah, three fourth inch seam allowance, basically. All right, so what we need to do now is if you open it up on the bottom here, you'll see that you have a big continuous piece, but it's not attached at the top. So along the bottom, Let's move this out of the way so I can actually show here. All right. So what we need to do is along the curve of the bottom of the skirt where we have the seams from where we attached it, we need to flip our fabric up three-fourths of an inch. So you can measure and draw the line. Um, again, I'm just going to kind of... Be a rebel, and I know now that this is three fourths of an inch, and we just need to sew right along that edge. I started on the wrong side, so I'm actually going to do it on this side so that I feed it through the machine a little differently. All right, so three fourth inches. And we're just gonna try and get as close to that edge, the raw edge, as possible. Um, we're using a regular sewing machine, going through and doing it at like an eighth of an inch, and then again, um, probably an eighth of an inch from that. It gives it two lines, which looks okay. Like I like it on my cover stitch machine. But what I like is then if I missed any of that eighth of an inch, when I go back through the second time, I tend to get the pieces that I missed. So if you're using machine, that's the method I prefer. Okay, just making sure we're at three fourths of an inch. Um, you can always iron it too if you wanna have a nice memory. So your fabric doesn't want to slide around or um, move out. Of Make sure it gives it a nice consistent look. I 
this nasty habit of chewing on the inside of my mouth when I'm concentrating and I just went to do it and I was like, no. Just going all the way around and hemming the whole entire piece. Since it's a tulip, you have to hem it before attaching it fully. Otherwise, your hem, it's going to be a nightmare to hem those um, curved pieces. So I do know why she did it that way. And I think it's a very smart move. I was just thinking I was hungry. <laughs> I think that's probably why, because I was thinking about dinner. <laughs> My tummy's like, yes, that sounds delicious. Okay, so now that we've hemmed it, we are done with this machine. What we need to do now is trim up the pieces. I should have used a leader cloth. That's okay. All right. And we're going to fold it so that the skirt, the bottom skirt is right sides up again. And now we're going to it says fold the skirt pieces back as they were in the first step. So what we need to do is we need to make sure that this corner, so here's one of our skirt pieces. We need to make sure the two top corners line up at the top. Because what it'll do is it scoops up. So you need um, the bottom and then so basically what you're going to want is this top part the raw edges will line up with the top part of the back and then the same with the other side and make sure the top corners are lined up and then the side raw edges so I have it pinned where the other skirt bottom part is so that's why there's a couple more pins than probably I would usually do and the same thing now we're going to bring this one over so that it's completely on top we're just going to line up those top row edges and then right here so now you should have a piece that looks like this right so you've got your skirt going up, your skirt going up to form the tulip petals. And then kind of a space here at the bottom. Don't mind my cover stitching, I need to iron that. <laughs> and then what we're going to do is we're just going to finish attaching the sides here. So using half inch seam allowance. I'm gonna start over where the other one. Ooh. And then just go half inch all the way up. Making sure though that your skirt pieces don't slide around. You want to make sure that they stay in place and that you're not pulling either when you're that's gonna be what makes your your skirt piece move. If you're pulling either way when you're sewing your skirt, it's going to be all lopsided. Okay, 
And then same thing to the other side. This one I'm starting from the top. You don't want to go all the way down because you just hemmed that. And if you go and you run your stitches all the way down past that hem, it's going to stick out at the bottom and you're not going to have this nice, well, that should be nice and straight. <laughs> you're not going to have this nice bottom. See how that looks? There's no jagginess. There's no threads hanging out. That's why they have you do it that way so that when you attach the skirt bottom your skirt bottom doesn't look kind of wonky so here we have it I need I need to iron it so don't don't pay any attention to me but we now have our skirt piece yeah let me add this up so I can actually see what I'm doing we now have our skirt piece to add on to our leggings piece so if you're doing the shorts or the full leggings that's what we will be doing tomorrow. We will just be attaching the two pieces and then we'll be done well, with our waistband. So another short, quick, easy day today. Yay, these are my favorite days. I love when we can take one project and break it up into little sections because then sometimes when life gets overwhelming and we're like, oh, I don't want to sew today. But you only have, you look at it and you're like, oh, 20 minutes, I can, I can, I think I can do 20 minutes. And then you feel accomplished, right? Like I always feel so accomplished after I sew something, even if it's just part of something. I'm like, yay, good for me. I did it. <laughs> so two simple, easy days. Tomorrow is going to be just as quick and easy. We're just doing the waistband and attaching it all together. So yay, I cannot wait. Thank you for joining me again today. And I can't wait to see what you create. So I will see you tomorrow so we can finish these up. Bye.